He was given last rites and death seemed imminent, but the spirit, prayers and love of his family and colleagues helped the correction officer beat COVID. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan was in Yap Hank when the officer, now officially retired and honored. A surprise send-off for a respected retiring correction officer from Suffolk County. Tears flowing all around for Timothy Heaton. Amazing how things change in a year. Six months of last year, Heaton was hospitalized in a life and death battle with long COVID. Six weeks in a coma. I truly do believe it's a miracle because the doctors did say there was nothing else that could be done. We were with his emotional family when Stony Brook and St. Charles medical teams announced Tim Heaton had somehow conquered COVID. I was given last rites. We were told um, multiple times to come in to say our goodbyes. See, Mommy, she was born while I was in a coma last year. My dad was in the medical ICU while I was on labor and delivery. Daughter Julie about to give birth, her father dying in the same hospital. I cried. Um, and there was really not, it was out of our control at that point. Amazing how when you put your mind to something, you can recover. And I prayed, mainly prayer too, saved my life. I just told the doctors I'm not signing a DNR and I'm not giving up. And we still believe he can pull through this. And he did. And wife Connie says something unimaginable just months ago. To celebrate his recovery and retirement, Timothy Heaton will be joining his family on a first time cruise to Mexico. But first, First, for 30 years of service, Heaton was formally honored with his retirement shield by Suffolk Sheriff Errol Toulon. Our 20 and 30 year old uh, officers that may at some point go through some adversity in life can always look to Timothy Heaton uh, as a source of inspiration. This badge is nice, but what really mattered was they stood by me during this the dark times, and it means so much I can never put in words. From Yap Hank, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.